Welcome back guys and once again I'm going to be showing you how to make a ton of coins on EAFC. Of course we're going from 0 to 200k. So if you're new around here and you need some coins you are in the right place. And of course we're giving away 7 copies of EAFC or 7 copies of 50 thief points. Whatever the winners want you guys can let me know if you win. Of course all you've got to do to enter is subscribe and send me proof over on Instagram and you'll be entered into the giveaway. And of course as usual if you want some coins in a quicker way well. So if you guys are sick of losing at FIFA because your team isn't good enough or you're not good enough at the game. Then right now you need to head over to Scott coach.gg not only can they coach you in your weekend league or play your games for you you can buy any amount of coins you want and all of the services get 10% off right now with the code pro recall go check them out below make sure to click the link in the description and let's get into it so of course this year round we've got two sets of players we've got the male and the female and of course every filter you pretty much divide the two because with the leagues they do separate them out and of course with nations you can have them both but it's a little bit easier to separate them because of the current pricing now what you can do if if you go over to the French League and go over to the forwards, there are a ton of French women who are absolutely crazy in the game. So we've got, if you have a look, you've got Le Sommer, you've got Beko, you've got Baltimore. You've got a ton here that are really, really good. Now, if you sort of filter it out by team, you want to realistically look, I mean, PSG, they're where you're going to find your better players. So if we pop over the PSG side of things, if we go over here and we set this to, if we pop this back on, probably a K, maybe a 2K mark. Let's have a look where they're sat. I think Baltimore is the cheapest of the bunch in the, the PSG side over there. Let's have a look. If we knock it down a little bit further, 950. Can we get her for less than that? 850. So you've got them there, 850. Realistically, you should be able to pick her up for a little bit lower. So we've got 700 there. That one has been taken under our feet, but we should be able to sell these on for 950 to a K. Of course, you've got a few 850s here. You've got 700 there, which we're going to actually get this time which is brilliant so we're going to pop that one up for 900 coins the reason is we got it for 700 it means we can still make a decent profit at 900 you've got 145 coins profit or 155 there's 45 coins ea tax so a really simple one there obviously there are a lot of other players on this filter now if you cap this out to a minimum of 10,000 coins what you should see is you've got katoto and there should be if we have a look, if we take away the forward part of this, if we go here, I believe you've also got the likes of Gayoro. So Gayoro, as you can see, is ridiculous in game from the looks of things. We've also got Katoto. There should be as well. There is one more. I think there's a right wing. I don't know if she plays for Leon, uh, but there is another player who's absolutely crazy. I think her name starts with D, but I wouldn't be certain. So we've got Katoto here, first of all, at kind of the, the 19k mark. Let's see how cheap we can find them. So 17. 18 seems to be the mark so obviously if you look at my coin balance we're on 17500 but luckily if she's going for 18 we want to snipe at around the 16 mark anyway so let's have a look we've got 18500 here you've got a couple there so realistically in order to get a snipe on this one 18500 ea tax is going to be roughly a thousand coins which brings us to here we want to make a thousand coins profit so we're looking at 16500 now of course it's going to be a little bit of a more difficult one. These players are, as you can see, a little bit more expensive. And they're pushing the line on my coin balance. But if we can get maybe a 15k, if we can get maybe even a 13, 14, we'll be making some absolute bank. We can undercut the market as well and move on very fast. Obviously get our profit and then go put it into another filter. Now, if you guys like this football kit or any of the football kits that I've been wearing in the videos, check out bestfootballkits.com. You will find the best quality, the best prices, and you'll get 12% off with my link in the description. So make sure to go check them out. And for the next one, we're gonna go over to Arsenal, the biggest bottles of last year. We're gonna have a look at the forwards on their team because if you pop over forward on Arsenal, you'll you see you've got Jesus, you've got Martinelli, you've got Trossard. And actually, Jesus and Martinelli from the looks of things are on the higher end. Let's have a look where they're kind of sitting. So you've got Martinelli from the looks of things. I mean, we don't have any like legitimate pricing here. What, 20K maybe? Looks like around the 20K mark. We've got Agabria, Jesus, probably the same. I mean, let's have a look. Can we find one that actually has a bid? So, okay, you've got 13 Ks there. Let's have a look at the cheapest ones for these boys. Is there anything under 20? We've got under 20 there. You've got Jesus. That might be a snipe, but we don't actually know yet. We need to check the pricing. That was a very good snipe. Fortunately, I don't have the coin, so we won't call it an L. But what that does mean is Trossard is not the filter. This filter, if you want to do it, has to be just between the likes of, of course, Gabriel and, of course, Martinelli. Now, of course, the other Brazilian we have there is the standard Gabriel. So we've got Gabriel Jesus and Gabriel. Now, I don't think Gabriel Jesus is going to come up for this price. 
you can get them on the same field, but it's not quite the same. But what we can have a look at with Arsenal is their centre back. So if we go for the gold rare centre backs from Arsenal, you've got the likes of Timber, who is going to go for a decent bit, and then you've got Gabriel. So if we pop this in at the 1k mark, shouldn't be anything coming up at 2k we've got nothing there and at 4,000 coins we've got our first set of gabriels and tinders tinders timbers obviously uh tinder is on my mind clearly a little bit too much so we're looking at the 3.2 mark there it doesn't look too bad for price wise i mean they're reasonably priced based on i've messed that up completely that was a good snipe uh reasonably priced based on sort of what kind of cards they are especially at this point in the game we're looking at from the looks of things what 3.2 3,200. So realistically, EA tax on that, 10% is 320. We half it, you're looking at 160 coins. So here, we're making 40 coins. Here, we're making 140 coins per snipe. And if you wanna make a little bit more, if you go one below, you'll be making just that little bit more. So if I go down to two point, oh, that's not what we meant to do. If we go down to 2.8K, we're gonna be making 240 coins a snipe. That one there would have been beautiful. And I'm gonna to have to pop on the bot that I was using in yesterday's video at some point to really clean up this filter is ridiculous we'll pop that one up for what was it 3.2 we worked out i think it was yeah 3.2 so that one there, decent profit. It's the minimum profit we were looking for, but you've seen a few snipes come my way that we've missed there where we would have actually got some really good profits. You've seen the Gabriels at 1K and even lower. So really there is a lot to be had. I mean, even there, there's a lot there that we can take. Heading over to Man United, another team not really doing very well at the moment. We have a beautiful set of defenders here. Now, Malaysia may ruin this filter. Luckily, he's not. You can see there, 850 there. So he's above the minimum. We've got 800 for Dalots there. So we're probably looking at selling these bad boys for around the K. So this is kind of a cheaper filter. Realistically, maybe even 1.1. So 1.1 EA tax is 55 coins. So here we're making 45. Here we're making 95. And here we are making 145. So we'll take that Malaysia there. We will take that one Basaka. That would have been a lovely snipe. So with Malaysia, you, you're going to try and push him for 1.1. Now, of course, there's a few there at 1.1. But if you keep listening, he should sell pretty easily. Of course, with Wan Basaka and the other players on this filter, they are going to sell a little bit easier. If you do pick up a Malaysia for 850, be sure to just pop him up for a little bit less. It does make sense. And we can even snipe at the 850 mark just to guarantee that extra bit of profit. You can see Malaysia is coming up here at quite low rates and obviously what you can do if you want to just grab kind of another version of these filters is you can pop defender and do netherlands and that's going to get you malaysia and timber now these are going pretty pretty fast so obviously it does seem like we might be making not mistakes but uh it, it does seem like this is a, a pretty uh heavily used filter right now but it's just because there's not many people on the game once there's a snipe it's going to be a pretty clear snipe so the netherlands defender route isn't a bad one to go here you've got nathan act there as well looking pretty well priced actually if i do say so uh it doesn't look badly badly priced at all there so you've got a nice little filter in terms of just a few netherlands players and what you can do to get rid of malaysia who seems to be going a little bit too fast we can go for center backs that was definitely a snipe. That is a, a sorely missed snipe there. He would have gone for about 3K. So if you go to the centre-back option, you're looking at around 2.5 for these guys. And even then, there's a seemingly struggle uh, to pick these guys up. So you've got Botman there. I think he goes into the, the centre-back uh, evolutions, which is why he's worth something. You've got Ake there. You should have some other ones in here, but the, the two of them is pretty good. So we're looking at 2.5 a there's a few there so we're probably looking at around what the 2.7 mark maybe okay 2.8 seems to be the mark ea tax on that is going to be 140 coins if we go down to there we're making 60 coins there is 160 and there is 260 per card so this is probably the point you want to sit at to do your sniping we've missed that first one we'll compare price and see if anything comes up nothing quite yet of course the compare price method does work this year they haven't removed it which is always good so we do have that extra option for the sniping can we get a good one oh we've been beat pretty much instantly on that one so a little bit frustrating but it is going to happen now if you guys are new around here and you're thinking well how am i going to make coins in the future this video has been brilliant but what am i going to do next just drop a sub we've got a video later on on how to get free packs and that one is going to help an absolute ton of you so go check that video out there that's usually a really good one for you guys and of course make sure to drop a like down below it's always appreciated and i'll see you guys in the next